Hey guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to go over converting our standard 64 pin SR20 to an AMV2. There'll be similar changes for other Haltech plug and plays or link plug and plays. So, what we'll do first is we're going to start here. We're going to unlatch the cover in each corner. Oh, that one clipped back in. So you got to unlatch all four of them. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to find your mass airflow wires. So we designed this harness so that these two mass airflow wires can be moved, which will allow you to run a MAP and an air intake temperature sensor. So here are the two wires right here. They're in pins 16 and 17. 16 is the mass airflow signal wire, so we're going to remove this and we're going to move it to pin 35, which is what AM calls for for the map. So it's going to go from this pin to this pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up these latches on the bottom here. Just simply lift up on them. Now we want this red wire so you can kind of move it inside there and you'll see that it's this second pin right here so we're going to lift up there's a little white latch you lift it up and the pin slides right out now what we're going to do is we're going to move it right into the spot where it needs to be it's going to be five over from the edge so one two three four and five so that's going to slide in just like that now we're going to move this black wire to become an air intake temperature sensor. So we can see it here. We're going to pry up on the latch. Comes right out. And this is going to move to position 26, which will be this fourth pin over on the bottom row here. So we're going to slide it in there like so. We'll close these two latches and now what makes this possible on our harness is we added this disconnect for your mass airflow sensor and it also has 5 volts and sensor ground in it which allows you to run the map in the IAT. So if you purchase a jumper harness from us, it's just like a little extension here, then you can move those two wires and you can run a V2 or another type of plug and play in your ECU.